Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now, as I said in my last video, I was going to get a package coming in today, and it did come in, and it has a total of four of the Toonie Terrors. They come in a collection, and the only reason I actually got them was for one particular um, figure. Don't get me wrong, the rest of them are cool, and you're going to like what you see, but it was based on Tar Man from the Retur Return of the Living Dead. I've always wanted one of those, and this is the closest thing to the Tar Man. There are other uh, figures out there, but they're way out there on price. So it's most likely I won't be getting those, but if NECA ever decides to do something like that, I'm definitely going to jump on that bandwagon. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a glimpse of what I got. There's a total of four of them, okay? And um, we're going to take them out of their boxes and everything and look at the figures, okay? So let's start off with... Mr. Vincent Price. Okay. Well, this guy is really cool. He's like the pinnacle of horror movies. Him and Peter Cushing and all those other, uh, Boris Karloff and all them. He's right up there with the rest of them. Christopher Lee. You cannot go wrong with Vincent Price. And he also is, uh, part of the, uh, the, th the Thriller soundtrack. Um... He was he had the famous voice for uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller, so I thought that was really cool too in itself. Okay, but anyway, it does come with some serious artwork based on you know the character in itself. Um, so I'm going to move on to the next one here, which is the Fiend. Okay, I'm not sure where that's coming from. Misfits, I think they call it. But anyway, that came in the package as well. We're going to take a look at that. It does come with some accessories. It's got a candle, a candelabra. And I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to look at that real close, okay? That, there's the background to it. Now, you can actually cut these out and use them for backgrounds if you choose to do so. Okay? That's one there. The next one is, this is actually a pretty good movie, Megan. Okay? She's an AI that goes, you know, haywire, Okay? And they're supposed to, they're in the process of doing a second movie based on this, okay? Now, whether they use actual Megan or somebody completely different, we don't know. But anyway, this is Megan, okay? All right, and that's the background to it, okay? That's usually where you see her standing and stuff, then all of a sudden she goes crazy after that. Last one is the reason why I picked up this package of four. It is the Tar Man from The Return of the Living Dead, which came out in 1985. Dan O'Bannon actually directed this movie. Now, this movie is really funny in its own way, uh, but it's also a cult classic. It's up there with The Night of the Living Dead, all those other movies too. But it is one of the most popular. There is a total of five of these movies, and the second one was okay, but then it got really stupid after that. Towards the end, uh, I think it was Necropolis, where they had zombies, but they kind of looked like they were assimilated by the Borg. I mean, the movies got really dumb after a while. But they are cult classics in their own way. Right. So anyway, give you this. And it does come with accessories and stuff like that. And we're, like I said, we're going to take it out of his package. Let me show you the background. The canisters. I'd love to get a hold of one of these canisters that holds the zombies. You can actually make these things. But you got to be really good at it. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down. And we're going to pull these guys out of their package. And we're going to look at the figures. And then I'm going to put them on my shelf. Okay, so with this in mind, I shall be back. Okay, we're back. I honestly didn't know um, about the fiend here. He is, in fact, a mascot for the Misfits. And honestly, I've never seen the movie, so i got to definitely check this out because it eludes me. Okay, but anyway, we're going to talk about this guy here, and we're going to look at the accessories that it comes with. And then we're going to move on to the next figures, which are already out of their boxes. So let's go ahead and shut this down real quick. And we're going to look at the accessories first. Then we are going to jump into the Fiend. Now apparently this is a bottle of some sort. Some kind of a potion bottle. I'm not sure what it is. Like I said, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't really know what it is. But it just looks like a bottle. I mean, like a, um, like a potion bottle. Let me show you the bottom of it. 
and there's the top. Now keep in mind these guys are roughly only maybe four inches tall, but they're very not accurate according to the characters themselves. But they got a very cartoonish look about them. But you know what they are as soon as you see them, which gives them a you know a completely different look about them altogether. It's the candelabra that comes with it. It's got a nice little detail for it. NECA does a really good job when it comes to their details. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's the candelabra that it comes with, and it's lit. Now let's get into the fiend. Articulation-wise, let's look at the face first. There we go. The head does move, okay, just so you know. The cape does not move. The arms, they do not move. The hands do move, okay, just so you know. Uh, and I think their main reason, well, they, they do move, but they're really tough. You're going to snap them if you don't, so you want to be careful with that. So it's safe to say they don't move because of the cape, okay? But the actual figure in itself. Now some of these, like Elvira and Pinhead, they do have... Hang on for a second here, guys. We're having problems with the cord. Okay. They do have a solid bottom on them. So, so it makes them easy for these things to stand. And there's the back of it. So that's cool right there. I like that. Like I said, I haven't seen this movie yet, but I'm definitely going to check this out. And you can see his foot right here. Okay, but that's pretty cool. I like uh, the Toonie Terrace. I think they're cool. I got a huge collection in the back. One day when I get bored, I'll do the entire collection again because I like to do a revised version as I keep getting them. Uh, I got a shelf full of them right now. So yeah, anytime they come out with something new, I got to get it. Now I'm looking forward to the Puppet Master. I do have four of the uh, actual figures. The other two... Uh, there's a, there's a total of six for the Puppet Master. One's the, 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 the six-armed uh, gunslinger. And I can't remember the other one. But those are the last two parts uh, of the actual characters within those movies. That should be coming in pretty soon here, too. And we're going to do a, a video on that as well. But anyway, this is The Fiend. Okay. So now let's move on to the next one here. Which is going to be Megan. Whoa, whoa, don't do that. All right, hang on for a second, I guess. Okay, there we go. Now, you'll notice the swords when it comes to these particular Toonie Terrors. Even with Jason or anybody, Michael Myers, they have this little glare about them. I don't know if you can see it there. See that? It's like that's their version of a shine. Okay. But Megan looks really cool. It's got a nice little detail. This is the AI or the Android that goes haywire. It is a very good movie. And they're coming out with another movie. So I'm looking forward to that. Now articulation wise, the arms do move up and down. Okay. The hands, they do move. But they're very small. And they can pop out easy. So be careful with that. So her dress all the way down to her shoes. Alright, now her feet do not move. There's no articulation in the feet. The legs, they swing back and forth as it is on a pivot. Okay, as you can see. Don't mean to look under her dress, okay? Don't be a pervert, people. But anyway. Her hair. This is very cool looking. Okay. And this one stands pretty good for the most part. You just gotta know how to balance it. And like I said, the actual feet, like I said, it's just one solid piece. So we'll put that right up there. And like I said, you gotta balance it out. See? And she falls. But anyway, you get the idea. Alright, now accessory wise, the knife is the only thing that comes with that particular figure. So with that in mind, hang on for a second, let me balance her again. Ah, uh, there we go. 
All right. I keep hitting the damn camera because it's in the way. Let's get into Vincent Price here. Let's start off with the accessories. Okay. This does in fact come with one hand if you want to change out the hand. But I'm going to leave mine alone because it looks absolutely perfect the way he does it. And he is famous for smoking a cigar. I forgot what those things are called, but it's a very long tube thing, thing where you put your cigarette at the end of it. They used to use it back in the day. But he's famous for that. And he's a horror icon, big time. Along with Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, uh, Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney Jr., all of them. They are classics. Okay, I don't know if you can actually see that or not. There we go. Okay, nice little detail on that hand. Okay, now let's get into the Boozy Cat. It's like a Monopoly piece. I'm going to get the red lighting here. Can you see that? I'm not really sure. But she does got a nice little detail for this cat. The bottom of it, it's pretty solid, so it'll stand on its own. And then it comes with a skull too. Okay, I think it's just more or less a showpiece because, like I said, he's in the horror. That's cool. I like skulls. Most people who are into horror or Halloween, skulls are synonymous. They are the coolest things about it. That and pumpkins, bats, all that stuff is cool for Halloween. Okay, that's what she looks like right there. Okay, enough about that. Let's get into Vince himself, okay? Now, I notice here when he's smoking a cigarette, he doesn't have that long tube thing. But that's okay. I don't know. I think I remember him actually using it a couple times. I'm not positively sure. But he is famous for anything horror related. He also did uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller. He did the background uh, sound checks on it. Uh, he did a fantastic job. And you, you recognize his voice. Okay. And that's really nice the way they did that. They did a really good job on this one here. Okay. Like I said, they're very toony terror in nature, so they got a cartoon feature about them. Alright. Let's go to the back. See, back in the day, like in the 1950s and stuff, everybody dressed perfectly. Today's society, its fashion is a little bit different, um, but at the same time, it's not as formal as it used to be. So, yeah. And there you go. He's like, well, let me tell you this. Okay, I uh, like this hand here, that's why I'm going to keep it. You can switch the hands out. Arms do move up and down, okay, along with this one here because it's already bent. You can do that, okay. His head will move, but it's very tight. So I'd like to just leave it alone so it doesn't pop off. Legs do not have no articulation. The feet are big enough where it can stand on its own. So hang on for a second here, guys. And it does have two holes in the bottom of it. So if you want to use an actual NECA stand, if this thing for some reason doesn't want to stand, you can use those. As you can see. Okay, hang on for a second here, guys. Sorry about the interruption. Okay, I just got a uh, call from one of the friends that I used to work with a long time ago. Haven't heard from him in a while. It's good to hear from his, uh, hear his voice again. And he's doing pretty good for the most part. But anyway, back to Vincent Price, okay? The back of it, like I said, is very neat. He's very, he likes to wear his suits, okay? He was very stylish back then. It's very formal, you know what I'm saying? And the hands, I'm going to keep the hands in themselves because I just like the actual poses that it, it strikes. But like I said about the feet, it's got the holes in the bottom of it. So you can put a neck stand on it for, if for uh, some strange reason. This doesn't want to stand on its own, but it does pretty good for the most part, see? So yeah, but like I said, if you walk by and it starts vibrating and fall, that's when you want to put a neck of stand on these bad boys. Now, the last one we're going to get into is the one, is the main reason why 
I actually bought this thing in the first place. Okay, it was based on the tar man. I've always wanted a tar man, but I've seen some out there, but they were way too pricey for me. Okay, but I love that movie. Okay, so let's get into the tar man here. Very cool looking. Okay. Been wanting one of these for a long time. As soon as I seen uh, it was on pre-order in Big Bad Toy Store, and I seen the tar man, I'm like, holy shit, I gotta get me that. All right, and it comes with this stand right here. Okay, this is stand. It'll, it'll help him stand. Okay. A very nice detail on this thing too. The color scheme, the head. Now I do got a Trick or Treat Studios mask based on all four of the Return of the Living Dead characters, which is um, Trash Zombie. Okay, and we also got the um, Mohawk Zombie, and I also have the uh, Party Skull. And Tarman. So yeah, I do got all four of them now. If they make some more based on the Return of the Living Dead, guess what? I'm getting them. But I mean, that's pretty cool looking. Nice detail. I want NECA to actually put out um, one of these bad boys, but a nice figure, eight inches tall. I'd snag that thing in a heartbeat. Okay. Now it does come with the stand, like I said. I'm gonna show you the bottom of it. Okay, it's kind of like um, tar man goo on the bottom or oil, whatever it, whatever they had them preserved in. Uh, but this guy is very cool. This is the main reason I picked it up. Now, these, a total of four, I believe they came to about $60, I think it was, $57. But it's worth it, in my opinion, especially if you're collecting uh, Toonie Terrors. You can't go wrong. Well, that's pretty much it when it comes to these Toonie Terrors right now. Like I said, that I'll be having some more um, stuff coming in. Once they, they let me know that they're coming in, I'm going to be doing more videos on that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to end this here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see some more videos. And I will catch each and every one of you at the very next video.